What's up, Leisure Nation? I'm Cliff, and welcome to Mixing 101. Today we're gonna to show you how to make Flavor 11, the Moscow Mule. To do that, all you need is a jar of our Moscow Mule mix, or one of our single serve packets of our Moscow Mule mix, your favorite vodka, and a little bit of water. And that's it. So, let's get started. What you'll need to do to make a Moscow Mule is take eight level scoops of our Moscow Mule mix out of our jars. And how do you know what a scoop is? We give you a scooper inside of each jar. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our mix has everything you need in it to make a Moscow Mule. You don't need to add any extra ingredients to it. So, to those eight scoops, we're gonna add two ounces of some high quality H2O. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna swirl that around a little bit to dissolve our mix and the water, kind of making your simple syrup. And while we'll do this, we're gonna give you a little background of the Moscow Mule. So the Moscow Mule is what we like to call the world's most balanced and yet necessary cocktail. So the Moscow Mule existed or was created out of necessity. There were three people, or as we like to say, three planetary alignments that had to happen so this cocktail could exist. There was a lady by the name of Sophia whose family made copper mugs. It's what the Moscow Mule is served around the world in. There was also a gentleman named John Martin, and John Martin owned and bought Smirnoff vodka back in the 40s. Yes, the Smirnoff vodka. And there was a gentleman by the name of John Morgan, and John Morgan owned a bar called the Cock and Bull in Los Angeles on Sunset Strip. And he was trying to introduce to the world ginger beer, which was a great, crazy concept back in 1941. So these three people came together, Sophia trying to sell her family's copper mugs, as well as John Martin and John Morgan, to create the world's most balanced cocktail. And the cocktail that you can literally find on any menu, any cocktail menu, anywhere, any restaurant you go to. So, getting back, after you dissolve our mix in a little bit of water, you're gonna add one and a half ounces of vodka. And we would like to tell everybody is, use a local vodka. We're using 7-3 Distillery's St. Rock Vodka out of New Orleans today, but choose your vodka, choose the one you like, and use it. We call for an ounce and a half, but also, you know, if you like your Moscow Mule a little stiffer, definitely add a little bit more vodka into the mix. Won't hurt it. So, after you add your vodka, we stir it around a little bit more, and the quintessential thing to the Moscow Mule is adding crushed ice. So we're gonna add a copious amount of crushed ice. We're gonna spill it everywhere all over our table. Who cares, right? Garnish it with a mint sprig or a lime peel or a lime wedge and enjoy the cocktail. And that one jar of Moscow Mule makes 10 drinks out of it. So, with that being said, let's give it a try. Man, that's good. So, before we depart today, we will always say in every single one of our videos and in life, support local. Support these guys creating very awesome spirits, creating very awesome products. And look, don't just let your Moscow Mule be limited to vodka. Use bourbon, use tequila, make a Kentucky Mule, make a Mexican Mule. Use whatever spirit you wanna throw at it because our Moscow Mule mix is incredible. Wait, let's do one more sip just to see if it still stands up. Man, that's good. Till the next time, make sure you tip your bartender. Cheers, Leisure Nation.